Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. So we're going to take a look at your weekend messages. I'm going to do a little bit of a general and then add in a little bit of love. See what energies will be playing out for you over the weekend. And this will be for uh, June 16th through the 19th. Okay. So I hope you're all doing well. If you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Hello everyone in the chat. Hi moderators. Thank you for all your dedication and loyalty. I truly appreciate that. And everyone who is a member of my channel, don't forget to join me this Saturday on the 18th, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a live stream where I will now be doing the mini readings, okay? If you're not a member of my channel, you can still join in um, to get a mini reading with me. It's only $20, there'll be a link there. Um, but if you do join, it's only $9.99 a month, and then you can come in and get as many as you like. All right, enough about me, let's get to you, okay. Okay, let's see, over the weekend. So you've got Soldier, and you have conversation, okay? You have Lord, which would be like a landlord. Let me see. Messenger. Thought, thinking, some misfortune. Okay, you have gift, wife, all right, let's take a look at these overall messages here. Somebody's thinking about someone. You might be having a conversation over the weekend with someone who could be in the military. Okay, so either think or someone's thinking about um, you, maybe someone who's in the military. Um, there's definitely a conversation coming in and maybe a, a message or a text message or an email. Um, from someone who's far away, maybe they're deployed or they are just active. Um, could be a vet, a vet, I almost said veterinarian. <laughs> could be a vet, okay. <clears throat> There's definitely some conversation coming in from someone um, in that position here or you receive some type of a message from someone over the weekend thinking about you, um, that kind of thing. And I'm also feeling, um, okay. So there's definitely some communication as well with like a landlord, whether you're a landlord and speaking to tenants or um, you're a tenant speaking with a landlord, okay. Now I feel like there's something here, either this, so somebody's a wife, okay? Um, there's some type of misfortune. So if you're, if you're doing something with a landlord or you are, or you're trying to seek some tenants or you're a tenant and landlord, there's some type of communication about something to do with the home. It could have something to do with inspection needs to be done or um, there's a fire hazard or something with a smoke alarm is maybe kind of faulty or something along those lines. But I'm also seeing here, receiving some type of a gift from a wife, okay? Um, doesn't have to be your wife. Uh, it could be someone external to you there's some type of gift that's coming in. And I, I just heard if the house gets, if you pay for the inspection, uh, or if you get the inspection, I'll pay for it, which is kind of, I don't know if that's a very specific message, okay? Um, it's, there's a, it's a female. It's a female who's going to be, um, I'm feeling she's concerned. She's overly concerned about some type of um, loss of some sort, okay? There's a female who might be married or she might be single 
and she has children could be a mother um, could be a landlord maybe there's a landlord <laughs> who's a female there's a concern overthinking a little bit of concern and worry about um, something happening to a piece of property okay that's a very strange well it's not strange it was spe specific is what I feel like I want to tell you okay um, there's a bill somebody's receiving a huge bill or a payout for some type of um, it feels like could be a lawsuit or um, something to do with a property or an, a business or residential where there's some kind of um, yeah this is like a gift coming in this is like um, receiving a payout maybe it's insurance of some sort for some type of damage or something that was done okay for others it could be a bill um, hmm. I feel like you're going to be in a lot of conversation with either a tenant or a landlord over this weekend. And I also feel like you're, you might be, you might be prone to worrying, over worrying about things aren't going to work out. I feel like something is going to work out here. Whatever you have going on in your life, like over this weekend, there's something happening that you're concerned about and I don't feel like you're unjustly concerned, but I feel like you might be worried that you're not going to receive some news or something's not going to come through and it's going to cause like upheaval, like a tower, mov a tower moment in your life. Like it's more of a fear, okay? More of a worry and a fear. I just want to see, I'm feeling very vague energy with this wife. Okay. Oh, if you are showing a property, maybe you work in uh, real estate or something and you're concerned that you're not going to get paid or that you're not going to be able to find a place for this, maybe this woman. Okay. And also um, maybe you're uh, showing a place. Maybe you're trying to find a renter as this woman. Okay. Let me see what... There's like a lot of, there's overly concern about this, okay? That you're gonna lose something is what I feel is going, you're concerned or you're worried about losing something. Oh, okay, so we've got room. Okay, <laughs> connected with this wife. So either this woman is trying to rent a room to you or you're trying to rent it to her. Or, um, cause with Lord, that's, you know, that's landlord energy. So you might not even be anything to do with landlords. So this specific thing might not be for you, but it's definitely for some, I want to see what this gift is. And also there's, um, okay. Okay. Servant. Oh, okay. So it's a gift that's like, that you qualify for. Isn't that strange? Because a gift is usually um, just a gift, but this feels like it's something that you may qualify for that you may not realize or you may not know about. And when you find out about it or when you receive it, it actually feels to you like, oh, this is like a freaking gift. Like I had no idea, like I didn't expect it. This is gonna be very helpful for you. Okay, so I feel like whatever the situation is, you're overly concerned. You might be overly worried. It may not have anything to do with you. It could be someone you're attached to. Um, they might be overly concerned, overly worried, and whoever they are, you can tell them. They don't have to be. Things are going to work out here. Okay. Misfortune. Wedding is clarifying. Mis mis okay, so... There's a, there's a wife or a female here that's either you or another person where there's somebody's, there's a separation happening here from a marriage or there's a wedding that's, um, you get an invitation to go to a wedding, but you may not be able to go because maybe you're in some type of service position and you are not able to attend 
and it feels very misfortunate, okay? And I feel like you're, gonna, you're definitely gonna be oh, like thinking about how to deal with this or feeling kind of like, oh, stressed out about this as well. Let me see what this soldier is. A little more clarification on this soldier. Oh, this is lover. Look at that, okay. So, <laughs> so when I say soldier, it doesn't have to be military, it could be police. Um, could even be a fire, um, firefighter or someone that works in a position where they protect or they save. Okay. That kind of thing. Um, like boots on the ground, that kind of energy. And they're coming through as a lover here. You might get invited by this person to go to a wedding over the weekend, but you might not be able to, or to go to a wedding further down the line. But there's definitely getting a message coming in here that I feel like when you get it, it's good news, but you're going to be like in typical Virgo fashion with like your, <laughs> I feel like you get this invitation or this letter and you're holding it there in your, your right hand there and you get your left hand on your forehead. Like, oh, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, like a little stressed, overthinking it, like chill. <laughs> Let me see this. What is this messenger? Oh, okay. Prison. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. <clears throat> so some of you may find out that there's someone that you care about, uh, a lover, not, um, not an acquaintance, not a family member. This is a lover. Um, you may find out that they're, they may face imprisonment as well. Okay. That's such a strange message. I don't know. These are just things that are coming up for this weekend. I know I'm speaking to a whole lot of people. And then you've got sorrow here. There's a lot of grief. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of grief. Okay, so I feel like a lot of this stems around um, like a, someone who's boots on the ground and also a landlord and the connection. I don't know if they're connected or if they're separate and these are separate messages here, but with the whole landlord thing, there's, I'm seeing like a lot of people connected to this landlord. I'm seeing like some type of gift being received. I'm seeing a lot of concern and misfortune. Um, am I going to be able to marry this situation? And when I say marry, not necessarily wedding, it could just be like when we marry two things together um, to make something happen. There's a lot of concern and there's something here with a female, an, an older female. Um, you might have a conversation with her while you're standing in like your living room or something comes up. Okay in regards to her. I don't, so this little bit of sorrow as far as like receiving some kind of message, you know, it is good news, but I do feel like it's good news for you, but I, and I feel like somebody here is, the message you get is either like there's a, pro, a potential for you to face some type of, I don't know, uh, either it's you facing some kind of, um, something illegal that happened or that might happen there's a there's a huge concern or this is somebody else that you will be connecting with or hearing from where they get into some kind of trouble okay um yeah so those messages were interesting we're going to go into love and just kind of check out a little bit of love here i you know i feel like overall the sorrow is not like it's more like i'm so sorry i'm hearing somebody apologizing to you for something and it's more along the lines of like i'm sorry about that i did this or i'm sorry that something happened or something went a particular way or it didn't go the way i was hoping it would go yeah that kind of energy all right let me see what the love messages are for the weekend <clears throat> okay, you've got true love showing up here. 
this is the romance of a lifetime. Well, that's good because something promising is definitely occurring here. Okay, and you've got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and playfulness. So Virgo, I feel like there's definitely going to be a nice, a part, you know, all this message, uh, everything that I gave you, the general message over the weekend, um, you may not experience any of that over this weekend. It could be the, you know, going forward. And this is just kind of to let you know. So it feels like to me, there's somebody here, um, like a romantic connection that's going to be made with someone over this weekend. Okay. Um, it's very soon. Wow. So I feel like somebody's going to be reaching out to you, at least making some kind of decision um, in regards to you. Let me see what that might be. Okay. So six of pentacles. Okay. Strength. Okay. We have Leo energy. Two of cups. Okay. So there's definitely a coming together or a getting together with someone over the weekend. Could be friendship, but it feels more like romance. All right. Um, for some of you, if you do strength change, strength training in a gym or you go to like a gym you might meet somebody there and for some of you this is your trainer <laughs> there's like a romance that blossoms with a trainer um, now this is not a married uh, person this is someone who um, I see them by themselves okay and I feel like I feel like that's a strong message for you. That's something that you need to know. All right. Yeah, here you go. Ace of Cups. So there's definitely a love thing happening here. And it's going to happen pretty fast. It's going to be something that comes like just out of the blue. Okay. So whatever, if you are involved, so some of you are doing something this weekend. Okay. Where you might be in a, a situation where you're, um, helping other people with something. Uh, it could be anything or you, it might not be planned. It might just be something where you are, I'm seeing someone in a grocery store and, and somebody needs help with something or they ask you a question. Like you're in some kind of position over the weekend where somebody asks you for help with something and you help them. And then there's like this kind of spark thing that happens or it's flirty, it's playful, it's fun. Or you, so it doesn't have to be a grocery store. I'm just getting that, picking up that image. But you're you're in a you're in a situation where someone just I, I don't know they just turn around and they ask you for help for something, and then there's like a spark of some sort that gets made over the weekend. Look at that, and it, something kind of like hey, you single, you know, uh, you want to go out for drinks. Or you want to meet up later or you want to just, you know, I don't know, something strange, exchange of numbers that you two get to talking um, about your work or you get to talking about, um, it could be even, I just heard at a bank, <laughs> you get to talking about personal stuff, not super deep person, but you're getting to know one another. It's interesting, but it's fun and it's cute and it's playful and it's flirty, but there's like true love that will come from this with the Ace of Cups. So it, it can even just be like a friendship. You strike up like a new friend, a new friend. I'm not seeing like any kind of reconciliation thing happening here with someone from before. This feels like a new energy with the Ace of Cups. Oh, wow. I was just seeing the bank and now we have the Four of Pentacles. That's like, that's like holding on to the money, depositing money. Um, security talking about finances could be an accountant or um, an investor or someone who's helping you work on your your finances and your savings as well sometimes i look at those pentacles and i always see that bitcoin and no bitcoin is like really if you involve yourself with that it's just not looking so good these days but it could be something along those lines as well somebody helping you with your finances 
So the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> hmm. So the Five of Wands showed up in reverse. It's definitely like resolving some problems or some issues here. Yeah, you're like either helping someone or asking for help from someone or you're talking to each other and trying to sort some stuff out and it could have something to do with, you know, you're talking about stuff or you're talking about money or just personal stuff in your lives. Not too, too personal, but, you know, qualifiers and things to get to know each other and then like, I see you here in this Queen of Swords energy where you're trying to get some truth and trying to overcome some obstacles and, and trying to resolve problems or resolve some perhaps financial issues. This person, I don't know, who is this person? Let me see if I can try to try to get a little more information because this feels like a new meeting. Okay, so the Knight of Wands, Three of Cups, ooh. Page of Cups. Okay, so this person's, I don't feel like they're from around your area. In other words, like they might, it could be like they live, so when I say your area, they, they live maybe like 30, 40 minutes away. So wherever you meet this person, they just happen to be in this, in that particular area or somewhere. Maybe they work in your town, but they're a little bit further away, okay? And they know, this is strange, but they know people you know. Maybe if they work in like a store or a bank or something, or they've dealt with people like it's you, if you live in a small town, or there's just this one place that everybody goes, they, they I feel like they know people, for some of you this could be a real estate professional. <laughs> they know, people in your area or they they deal with a lot of people as well okay nine of cups oh yeah they help make their people's financial wishes come true you're meeting this person is attached to some kind of business or financial thing okay um they could be like a, maybe a loan officer or something along those lines and they you know people who are financially struggling or have worries they they you know give them resolution and and hope they trying to help their financial make the dreams come true the material um <laughs> wishes come true this is such a weird like help with material abundance this is such an interesting message okay so there's a spark that happens like i said oh right and then there's a conversation What do I do with all my, yeah, what do, I feel like you're either you're going to be asking or they're going to be asking. It's like, well, what do I do with all my, my stuff? You know, I have all these like, like my house and my investments and, you know, my car and, you know, all these cups and all these like, how do I say this? Like my plans, planning for future. Yeah, that's what I feel like is going on here. Okay. This is not like you're going to be at some kind of party and be introduced. This, you're going to be like, oh, this is unexpected. Une yep, look, ten of cups. This is like unexpected that's going to just come out of the blue. This is Cupid's arrows. Cupid's arrows is coming in here. Um, this is, and you may not even be interested in this person. or You might be. You'll have to see, but... They're in some kind of business or something like that. I just want to get, let me take a look and see what other kind of messages here. Okay, we've got mask. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, this person, <laughs> there's definitely going to be a spark felt by this person. And then there's going to be some communication, like a love call or some communication, message of love right? Or someone expresses something. This person wears a mask because they're professional and they have to wear, they have to have on that professional mask. But I feel like if there's an exchange of phone numbers or something along those lines, or 
you're doing business with this person it just kind of progresses into pro from professional calls into love calls conversations get a little bit longer there's a little um uh, the person you're talking to or they're talking to you, 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 I see like looking at you a little extra longer than would be expected. There's like a, a like a, a gaze that you'll pick up on from this person. Definitely showing interest in you. Look, there's the kisses card again. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, Virgo, I feel like you're going to just, there you go. There's date. So I feel like you're going to be connecting. Somebody's going to ask you out on a date over this weekend. It's going to be like completely out of the blue um, or ask you if you're interested. There's meeting somebody new you're dating or you, maybe you're thinking you might not even be thinking about dating, um, but you're just getting back out there. And some of you are just doing your regular business or whatever you do in your, your daily day. And somebody that maybe you start talking to through business or finances or someone that that you just happen to bump into and then there's conversation that strikes up and then there's this hey you want to go get coffee or you want to go have lunch or dinner or some drinks we could talk about the plans and talk about your portfolio and you know all that stuff i mean it's it's actually kind of cool it, it looks nice for the weekend okay even if you don't actually go anywhere this weekend you might just be, you know, oh, I got to run to the bank real quick and make a deposit or do something. And then this energy starts. Okay. I know all of you can be rushing to the bank this weekend, rushing to the grocery store, doing whatever you got to do. But if that's what it takes for you to get your ass up and out, then do it. <laughs> you don't have to go out purposefully dating. Just get back out there in your life. Because I know some of you like, I've been in hermit mode and I'm not doing anything. Go to the gym. Um, start talking to people everyday things that's how things happen you know when you're by yourself don't don't stay by yourself and stay online that's awful get out there and you know if you're not you don't have to get out there and date just get out there and live <laughs> all right Virgo that's your message for the weekend I hope that you enjoyed that and yeah definitely leave me comments if like especially the first part of the reading the general messages resonated I would like to hear what your stories are, what you guys, like what's going on with you that you picked up on in that reading. Leave a comment below, or you can leave it in the chat if you're watching this as it's premiering. Either way, I will see you guys on Monday. All right, have a great weekend, Virgo. Love you guys, bye.